So in this talk, uh, I will talk about my uh, multi scale data twin uh, use case on Google Cloud, Google Cloud Platform. Uh, I'm Takuya Kurihana from uh, Computer Science at University of Chicago Computer Science Department. I also uh, working with uh, Frontier Development Lab as a researcher. Uh, let me first talk about the Frontier Development Lab. Uh, FTL is our uh, research organization, uh, privately and publicly uh, collaborate with uh, NASA and Department of Department of Energy, and supported by uh, Google Cloud Platform uh, for uh, many computation resources. Uh, the main goal is FTL is FTL try FTL is advancing the application of AI machine learning in order to push the frontier of uh, of the research and develop new cutting edge AI machine learning uh, application in natural science uh, domains. Uh, in this year, there are seven uh, big uh, projects in FTL. Then my project I will talk about uh, in this presentation is uh, in the part of climate ad adoption uh, project. Here's our team member, uh, Aurelian and I, our computer science background, um, Iriana and and Beijing is from uh, climate science and geology uh, background. So we cooperate uh, computer scientists and domain scientists pretty well. Um, the project is led by Harukor and uh, Saraya Station. They are uh, expert in computational hydrology, and Alex is uh, expert in machine learning. So our main goal is uh, creating data twin in order to develop a first and physics informed satellite model for groundwater contamination. Uh, so first of all, uh, water water is important in uh, human activity because uh, some statistics say 50% uh, of drinking water is groundwater. So let's suppose uh, ground, uh, contamination is contamination source at somewhere else close to the residential area, then if uh, climate, uh, if global warming is ongoing, then they might be more frequently happening in uh, extreme precipitation. Then the, the precipitation might push the contaminants into our drinking water. So it is important to think about the, uh, the, the effect. But, uh, this is a very challenging issue because uh, it is uh, it is very difficult to have a great uh, uh, model to predict uh, such contaminations. But if we, let's suppose if we have uh, such a nice tool in the left hand side, uh, you can change some parameters based on your locations and uh, groundwater and climate uh, configuration, then and which predict which and which predict really well in contamination proof uh, for next 10 years and 30 years. So, and then having such a nice tool, uh, decision maker and press holders can uh, take uh, great actions. Especially in our application, we use uh, many uh, Google Cloud platform computing and application resource. Uh, especially in our case, we use uh, physical simulations and groundwater simulation. We also get the climate projection data from CMIP5 and CMIP sometimes 6 from Google Earth Engine and some other uh, public and uh, government uh, data, cent data center or server. Then we store this data in, in cloud storage in order to, to do pre processing on virtual machine on Google Cloud uh, computing resource. Especially in our research, we uh, leverage Vertex AI, uh, which is our new uh, tools from the Google Cloud, Google Cloud platform uh, to accelerate your machine learning, deep learning AI uh, workflow. Having such a nice uh, deep learning models, we finally deploy our groundwater emulator on uh, a virtual machine and help refinery in Google App Engine. Uh, our uh, multi-scale digital twin have two uh, scientific tasks. First is we want to train a surrogate model or emulator 
for uh, ground water simulation, we saw uh, PDE uh, in ground water four. And second, uh, in order to provide uh, more realistic input data, uh, we have a pipeline to conduct unsupervised uh, crime and data clustering, especially in our application, we use order encoder to get the in order encoder and apply clustering to have uh, unique climate uh, regions. Uh, it's, uh, let's talk about uh, a bit of our backbone of deep learning architecture. We especially use Pure Neural Operator, which is uh, kind of new uh, uh, technique in deep learning communities in order to learn uh, nonlinear operations, nonlinear floor applications. Uh, what, they're, what, what is Fourier neural operator is Fourier neural operator replace convolutional neural network mostly used in uh, many uh, domains, many like application of domain science with uh, Fourier transform uh, layer. So, so each Fourier layer they solve uh, Fourier transform, and they once you pile up this Fourier layer, they work as uh, like convolutional layer, but you can get more faster, 100 times or more, much faster inference, or and sometimes better uh, performance in predictions. Uh, in our work, we especially develop our uh, loss function because uh, sometimes in uh, ground war for uh, boundary condition is kind of key in order to achieve better performance. Uh, before we jump into our uh, result, uh, I would like to uh, introduce the use of Vertex AI. The Vertex AI is the new Google Cloud, Google Cloud application where you can train uh, AI workflow, uh, where you can accelerate the training of AI workflow much faster and much easier. Uh, what you have to do is just you castle into castle on the create notebook instance, then. This uh, interface is popping up. Uh, what you have to, all you have to do is you just specify what type of GPU you, you can use and number of GPUs. And uh, the great thing is in Vertex AI is you can check the uh, monthly budget and hourly budget so that the, if you are PI, then you can uh, you don't you don't have to worry about the uh, too much computation. Or sometimes in uh, geoscience, the data set. The size of the data set is pretty large, so you can adjust your uh, disk size from 100 gigabyte to a uh, couple of terabytes. The finally, after you done the configuration, then uh, Jupyter app is uh, starting, so you can, which is my, which might be for me of you, so you can use like a Jupyter app to train your network on the virtual machine without doing some uh, hectic work before you, you have to do without uh, the Vertex AI application. Uh, here's our, some example. So there are three situations, low research, medium research, and high research. And the research rate is a key parameter for the input of our groundwater emulator. Then if you change the, the research value, you can see different like approved distributions. At the same time, if you take difference between low to medium, between low and medium or low and high, then you can see the different, okay, different prune, uh, uh, different transition of prune. If you check the difference, and yeah, we also check, we also perform comparison between truth and prediction based on unseen data in training process. Uh, it seems quite well, uh, quite high fidelity in terms of our performance. But if you see the difference, you can see some still. You can see still some like difference in boundary conditions, which might be uh, further issues. Uh, we also see some other examples, and the great thing is most of uh, other examples we can see great performance in terms of like a difference between prediction and truth. But sometimes you can see some uh, case are not really well again the boundary conditions. Uh, the second. Uh, task is uh, constructing unsupervised climate data crossing uh, pipeline where you can get some representative uh, 
presentation and uh, evapotranspiration barriers for each unique climate region in order to make it as an input data for machine learning emulator I presented uh, before slides. We use two auto encoder. First is just uh, also so also common encoder, but the 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 another one is we trying clustering and auto encoder end to end so that the can, this auto encoder is very scale, scalable when it comes to when it comes to uh, clustering size is pretty big. Here's the two examples when we map the high dimension uh, bottleneck vector into two dimensional vector by Kisney. Uh, techniques you can see that precipitation about transpiration have a uh, nice gradient so that we can say our region representation reflects some sort of a meaningful physics uh, the same thing in uh, end to end crushing or importer but the crushing or importer it's kind of promising because they the boundary between each cluster are pretty kind of clearer than when we when we train also all in order which means additional loss time might help your task uh, here's some example when we compare three when we compare distribution our cluster each dot points represent uh, each input uh, images because we subdivide a large corner cellar into uh, two degree by two degree uh, small images we call patches and we just pick up a number of patches or free, most frequent patches which have uh, more than 99% of precipitation. Also, we relabel cluster based on uh, num uh, mean precipitation uh, values. So smaller cluster number means more uh, precipitation value, which, which means wet, wet climate, but the five is vice versa more much much drier climate. So we can see that the, at the rate of century, our distribution change more wetter regimes. And we also say our uh, climate autumn quarter capture some uh, uh, global warming trends. And so that the, uh, uh, it's kind of very useful. Here's a wrapping up slide. Uh, so we have two different uh, deep learning AI tools in order to achieve one uh, application multi scale digital twin. Of course, climate scale is kilometer to 100 kilometer scale, but the uh, groundwater flow is sometimes 10 to 100 meter scale. So it's kind of a little interesting to see how different scale of uh, AI can be connected in one application. Here's the next step. Uh, next step, we want to extend our application to globally. And finally, we want to uh, deploy our application on uh, Google App Engine so that the site manager or some more scientists can use our application. Here's our paper. Our paper accepted in Europe is available in archive. Um, uh, we also, FDA also hires new uh, PhDs, postdocs for only summer, eight weeks, intense. Uh, research experience, which is really fun. Here's a picture about our community. So yeah, please apply.